Hi, welcome to series of getting started video tutorials for RoboAnalyzer software. RoboAnalyzer is a 3D model based software that can be used to teach and learn robotic concepts. It is a software developed under the guidance of Professor SK Saha, IIT Delhi. You can download it for free at www.roboanalyzer.com. In this video tutorial, I'll be discussing about visualization of Danavit Huttenberg parameters contents. So, this is what I'll be uh, discussing in this video tutorial. In the beginning, I will give a brief description about DH parameters and later I will consider two examples from Robo Analyzer software, one a simple one and, other, and another a bit com comprehensive and help you to visualize DH parameters. DH parameters. DH parameters was first used by Danavit and Hertenberg in 1955. It is nothing but a systematic general method used to define the relative position and orientation of two consecutive links. The four DH parameters are joint offset, joint angle, length length and twist angle. Coming to the joint offset. Consider a system of linkages, link I-1 and link I, connected to each other by joint I. The extreme joints be joint I-1 and joint I-1. Let the axis that passes through these joints be ZI, ZI-1 and ZI-1 respectively. Now. The common normal between the axis ZI-1 and ZI, be, let it be called as AI-1. Similarly, the normal between ZI and ZI-1 be called as AI. Now, these joint axes or the lines ZI, ZI-1 and ZI-1 are not two-dimensional lines but three-dimensional. So, there is always a normal between any two three-dimensional lines unless it intersects at a point. So now the joint offset is the length between OI dash and OI. Uh, you need to visualize it in a three dimensional space. Coming to joint angle. It is the angle between the orthogonal projections of the common normal to a plane normal to the Z die. So this is the angle what I'm talking about. Uh, it, it can be obtained when, if you draw a line parallel to AI minus 1 at OI. Now again it is uh, you need to visualize it in a three dimensional space. Uh, the joint angle is constant for prismatic joints and variable for revolute joints. Link length. Uh, it is the distance of the common normal between ZI and ZI plus 1. twist angle. Uh, it is the angle between the orthogonal projections of ZI and ZI plus 1 onto a, onto a plane normal to the common normal AI. So this is the twist angle. You can uh, you will get it if you draw a line parallel to ZI at OI plus 1. I will get back to these parameters when I come to the visualization of DH parameters. Now coming to the robo analyzer software for visualization of DH parameters. Uh, this is the robo analyzer software and this is the screen you would get once you open the software. Uh, on the right side you have your browser where you have various controls like zoom in, zoom out, pan, orbit etc. And the, and the robotic arm you are seeing is a 2 degree of freedom. Uh, to begin with let me consider a simple example that is a single degree of freedom. To change the degree of freedom go here, uh, select one, ok. Uh, let me reduce the link length to 200 mm. So, uh, this is a single degree of freedom robotic arm. Uh, this is the uh, link and this is the joint. Uh, let me simulate this and generate a curve. To generate a curve, uh, you need to press, you need to hit this button and then play forward. Okay. Uh, so, uh, the curve that is generated is a part of a circle, a 2D curve. Uh, you can change the views here. Let me go for isometric view. Okay. Ah, the box you are seeing over here, over here is to vary the parameters of the link and the joint. Uh, you can uh, vary the uh, joint offset, joint angle, link length and fish angle. You can also vary the uh, initial value and the final value of the uh, rotation of the each joints. Uh, the box here is to uh, visualize the DH parameters. You have joint offset, joint angle, link length, fist angle. 
and you can also very all this uh, you can also visualize all these parameters uh, uh, simultaneously uh, automatically one by one now uh, let me change the joint offset to some random number uh, 50 uh, let me change it to 0 and uh, 360 okay uh, let me simulate it uh, stop okay coming to the joint offset you can just press this button and see the animation you can see the movement of the reference frame let me zoom it Yeah. yeah, this is the coordinate frame you're seeing in the uh, animation. The Z axis is represented in, in blue and X axis in red and Y axis in green. In this case, the Z axis is always along the length of the joint and X axis are always along the length of the link. Yeah. So let me show the animation again yeah this is the link line now coming to the joint angle uh, it's better if we have a look from top view uh, just observe the rotation of the co coordinate frame uh, coming back to the isometric view uh, link length Uh, it moves by 200 mm as mentioned in the uh, parameter box twist angle uh, twist angle is 0 so there is no rotation C uh, if I change it to some 60 degrees you can have a yeah. uh, I'll come back to the twist angle again later you can also click on the together button to cover the for visualization of all the four DS parameters uh, the parameter that is uh, that is being covered is hi highlighted in yellow color you can vary the speed here this is the medium speed okay. I guess it's time to move on to a more comprehensive example let me go for a three degree of freedom uh, and uh, PRP configuration okay uh, let me zoom out so this is the PRP configuration uh, system of linkage uh, let me first uh, simulate this and generate a curve zooming out yes okay now coming back to the visualization of these parameters uh, here you can ch choose uh, joints uh, I'm going to choose joint 2 joint offset you can see the an animation uh, I'm zooming it for better visualization joint 2 joint offset yeah joint angle link length Okay. You can also uh, observe it for joint 1 and joint 3. Now coming to the link configuration. I can move this a little upwards. Okay. Uh, the matrix you're, which you are seeing here is a transformation matrix. It basically defines the relative position and orientation of two consecutive links. Uh, now if I update, this is what I get. Uh, here if you see this this uh, this gives the uh, orientation and relative position of link 3 with respect to the previous link that is link 2 so link 3 with respect to link 2 here uh, basically transformation matrix is uh, like this uh, it contains both the uh, rota pure rotation and pure translation. It is a combination of pure rotation and pure translation. These are the values that fit into this matrix. Uh, 
yeah, coming back to the uh, software you can also change the uh, link to and uh, previous link to base frame this is what you get you can see the coordinate frames is linked to with respect to base frame that is this link Uh, you can also update it when it is getting simulated the values keeps changing okay uh, when I say link 3 to base frame uh, this is what you get this is the link 3 and this is the base frame and now move to end to end configuration end to end configuration is nothing but uh, uh, the relative position and orientation of the end point to the base frame uh, updated uh, you can also simulate it while running uh, please observe the values that are getting changed uh, yeah that's it thank you for watching the video